It's all good. 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 Very nice, very nice. The landing, the landing. Hotel Miami. Nice room. He let me check in early, bro. So, kudos. It's nice. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Look at this. Nice shower. The lights. This is what we do. You know what I mean? Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, 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 very nice, first floor, second floor, it don't even matter, baby, let me tell you how hot it is out here, it's 93 degrees, hot, hazy, humid, a heat wave, basically, yeah, because y'all y'all gotta understand, Miami was under a flood last, d uh, during June 12th, I was supposed to come down, they canceled, they said, look, just cancel your flight, bro. It's going to be mad delays. Just cancel your flight. So I changed it to, you know what I mean? I changed it to the following week. It all started when JetBlue emailed me and said, yo, you got travel credits and it's going to expire. I had like $200 in travel credits. So I said, yo, I'm going to put that to use. I'm going to Miami. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, what's going on, New York, New York City, as you can see, I made it to Florida, I made it to Florida, yes indeed, listen, thank y'all for tuning in to It's All Good TV, I'm your host Terrence T-Bone Mills, Continue to support Brick.TV is the heart and soul of Brooklyn and is the heart and soul of the world. So let me let me start. So I get an email. I get an email from JetBlue stated, stating that I had $250 worth of travel credit that I didn't even know about, which is gonna expire. Because you know they don't they don't do refunds. You know what I mean? What they do is transfer it to another flight. So it was actually gonna expire in two days. So I got that credit because when I went to Tennessee, they, they canceled my flight. And I had to get back home the next day, so I had to pay for another flight, so they gave me the credit. So I was like, I got to use this credit. So let me go ahead and use the credit and come back to Miami. Haven't been in Miami in like 10 years. And let me tell y'all something. I, I was supposed to come down here June 12th to the 13th. So what happened was that a tropical storm hit Florida. Florida was under, was damn near underwater. I'm telling you, South Beach was underwater. And it's crazy. So they was like, I was getting ready to go down there. And they was like, nah, we're going to give you a, a fee flight waiver so you can either cancel your flight or change your flight so i changed it to the following week which was the 21st to the 20 22nd i go down there for a day chill out you know see what's going on do some content for my youtube channel you know and that's exactly what i did that's exactly what i'm doing now i'm at the the landon bay hotel Beautiful hotel, the room is off the chain. You know what I mean? You'll see in the you know the couple of pictures that I that I took and some video. But it it was off the chain, let me tell you. So I got down here and for me, whenever I fly, I always thank the Lord, you know what I mean? For also you gotta pray that you get on a flight with some mentally sane people. You know what I mean? Some people be acting crazy sometimes. And it was a wonderful, safe flight down here to Miami. I'm, at, I'm in Harbor Bay. Harbor Bay consists of 
uh, shops and the water and the beach. Everybody lives. I'm ten minutes away from the beach, from the ho from this hotel, the Landon Bay Hotel. And this hotel is nice. The room is clean. Everything is wonderful. You know what I mean? They could, look at the backdrop. I'm actually sitting on a bed right now. This is the backdrop for the Landon Bay Hotel. Let me tell y'all something. There's a heat wave in New York City, and there's a heat wave down here. I walked two blocks. I was pouring sweat, just pouring sweat. And you know that Miami heat got that kind of like dry heat, and when the wind blow, the wind blows hot air. You know what I mean? That's why people usually come out during the evening time. And once I finish making this video, I'm gonna go back out for a couple of hours. You know what I mean? But um, I see there's a lot of new buildings going up here in Miami. I also want to stress out the airport needs to be, it needs to be, be fixed up. The, the Miami International Hotel needs an upgrade because I, I feel like they're behind in technology and stuff like that. And you can see everything is like out of date. You can see and you can tell everything is like out of date. So compared to coming from New York and Newark, New Jersey, everything's brand new. You know what I mean? And, and yes, I think any any um, airport in the city, in New York City, needs to be fixed up. When you fly to international places, the airports is beautiful. The airports is unbelievable. You know what I mean? And it's like, when you get to the airport, it's like you would rather stay there. And mind you, when I came outside to look for my taxi, my, my Uber, or my Lyft, that hot air hit me like boom. I'm telling y'all, it's hot. It's hot out here in Miami. Salute to everybody that lives here and works here. I don't know how y'all take this heat, bro. I really don't know how y'all take this heat in Miami. It is scorching hot out here. I'm telling you, scorching. So basically, um, I'm getting ready to have my lunch right now, and then I'm going to head back to the beach and get some more footage, you know? And basically, you know, out here, it's really nice to live, but when them storms come, oh, God. They got it. Now, I'm leaving on uh, the 22nd. They got a storm coming in. The following weekend that's what the guy was telling me another another storm is coming so so what I found out is the month of June for Miami is so hot you know what I mean that it, it creates tropical s storms that's what it does so June July and August considered like hurricane season so the people down here they you know they know they know, and there's a lot of high-rise buildings down here, and it's like, yo, yo, when that wind blow, you feel that wind blow. If you, if you up high, you will feel that wind blow, you know? But, um, yeah, that, that's basically what's going on right now. It's nice to be here, but this heat is like... If you can walk around with an air conditioner in your arm, or, or, or come on, that's how hot it is down here in Miami, man. And I got my sunscreen. As soon as I came off the plot, I just started applying sunscreen on my arms and my face. Because you never know, you know what I mean? And forget about it. It's crazy right now. Insane right now but it's nice just to get away get out get, get out of the city here and there and go go to another city you know what i mean i like watching other youtube channels they got guys that's traveling from state to state and, and critiquing 
food restaurants. You know what I mean? I can't do nothing like that because, you know, I'm on a certain kind of diet. I'm trying to change my diet. Those guys, I don't know how they do it. Maybe they do it once a week. They don't eat for like a week and then go go travel and then eat like that. It's called extreme extreme eating and critiquing people's food, you know. And I like the way everybody, you know, came up with that certain kind of idea. Because a lot of people during the pandemic, y'all remember the pandemic? When the pandemic happened, a lot of people was like, what am I going to do now? So in my situation, my internet service was so slow during the pandemic. I couldn't do no videos or nothing like that, bro. So that just made people think like, yo, I can create a channel. I can travel. I can go on cruises. It's just amazing just to watch all that. And sometimes when I'm at home, I get my little, you know, my Hennessy White and I watch other people's channels. I watch how they go to different states or how they on a cruise. And when people go to different states, you actually look and see where they at and then be like, yo, if I go here, this is what I, this is, this is where, you know, he's showing me where to go. You know what I mean? A lot of these guys, they international. The women are beautiful internationally. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you know, I, I enjoy watching it. So salute to everybody with your own YouTube channels, man. And it's a lot of work too, because sometimes you got to get those videos out. You got to get them videos out once a week, twice a week. You know what I'm saying? And that's it, it's a lot of work because you got to video and then you got to edit you know so that's basically what's going on with that and um salute to everybody man salute to everybody i'm gonna call this is my first vlog this is my first vlog because i i am a producer with brick.tv so i make shows for them i also air in the bronx i air in um brooklyn Manhattan and I used to air in Atlanta, Georgia, People TV. So I'm gonna see if I can contact them and, and, and send some more shows down to them also. And it's a lot of work when you're by yourselves, man. You, you know what I mean? You lugging around equipment, you doing the interviews yourself. I used to have a team, and you know, the team is not there anymore because everybody have their own journeys that they want to do, you know. And that's basically that was that was going on, man. Every all, all my team members, we used to do MTV. You, we used to do red carpet events, and everybody just decided, yo, I want to do this kind of content. I want to do this kind of content. But salute to everybody. Thank y'all for following me. You know what I mean? For following me on my YouTube page. I might create another page. I really don't think that's necessary. We'll we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, I'm a little bit further up. Uh, I'm on 96th Street. South Beach is further down. You know, I was going to try to walk to South Beach just to get my workout on and my steps in. So that's like a two, two and a half hour walk. But in this hot sun, bro, nah. The sun drains you. I don't think I want to do that. So if I decide to do that, you know, I'll jump in the Uber or whatever and just go down to South Beach and then come back. You know what I'm saying? Because it's about 38 minutes, 20, 28 minutes to South Beach. But, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what's going on right now, y'all. I'm telling you, man. Once again, thank y'all for tuning in to It's All Good TV. I also... I am a fashion photographer. Fashion week, I go to all the fashion shows. I just got an invite to go to Paris. We'll see what happens with that. Also, going to Paris for fashion week. For my man, Michael Reed. You know what I mean? Just go there and then come, hop on a plane and come right back. That's it, that's how we do it. So we'll, we'll see, but I also been invited to Runway 7 at Sony Hall. And their runway shows is off the chain. I'm going to be covering for two days for them during Fashion Week. And my boy also got his backyard party. Um, 
doing um, Labor Day, you know what I mean? And um, shout out to everybody. Whatever you're going through, continue to pray. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one of my good friends of mine, Papa Chubb, Chubby, one of the iconic blues band. He just had post-op post -op surgery. I think he had like uh, spinal surgery, uh, stoliosis. You know what I mean? I have a little bit of that, so I have to, you know, I, I manage it. I take care of it. You know, I ice myself down. I, you know, I use the heat mechanism. And, um, yeah, sometimes when it get cold, you feel it. But when you come to a, a hot weather, you know, you're okay. You know what I mean? So, once again, I salute everybody, man. Shout out to the Landon Bay Hotel Miami, baby. It's beautiful in here. You know what I mean? And, um, 10 minute walk to the beach. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the beach. Because, you know, people going to... I'm here early, it's about 1 o'clock right now. People gonna start getting off of work, hitting that beach. They got the beach where you swim at your own risk. No lifeguards on duty, please be careful. You know what I mean? Please be careful, because the water have no mercy. The water have no mercy. I don't care how good of a swimmer you think you are, but the water doesn't have any mercy. So once again, I salute everybody. Thank you all for tuning in. Shout out to the city of Miami. You know what I mean? And uh, we're going to be right back because I'm heading to the beach to get some more footage. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> Made it. Look at the difference. I'm in Miami. I just touched down. Look at the difference. No water. No water. Beautiful. The Florida's nice. This is actually Bell Harbor. See them people houses with the giant boats, man. Get there, bro. We out here. The water has receded. You remember? Like, I was supposed to come out here June 12th. It was like, yo, don't even bother. Florida is underwater now. All the water is burning up out here, bro. Big. Beautiful waterfall. Look at this shit. Mind you, this place was under so much water. Yeah, man, this is Bell Harbor, baby. Miami Beach. Look at this. Oh, God. And it's scorching hot out here, bro. Scorching. Scorching. Hot. Scorching. Hot. And here's the beach. Coming. Look at this. Bell Harbor. Make sure you follow these rules. Look at that. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. This is a real beach, real exciting beach. Yeah. This is it. This is it right here. But I ain't, like I said, Look at this, man. This is beautiful, man. This is Bell Harbor, so peaceful, man. Get all the way down there, bro. Yes, indeed. First, I want to say rest in peace. To macho, man. Every time I see this water, man, Jesus Christ. The water has no conscience. Rest in peace, macho. He drowned in Puerto Rico, man. High surf, but he was able to save his two daughters. You know what I mean? Yes, indeed. Look at this. It says, swim at your own risk. 
Bell Harbor. You know better than this. Let me zoom in. I'll start all the way down here. It's beautiful. See people out there, but they said swim at your own risk. There's no lifeguards. Once again, rest in peace to my childhood friend Macho. Rest in peace, my dude. It's nice and quiet compared to South Beach. South Beach is light. South Beach is 30, 30 minutes away. I got my blue pillow to match, you know what I mean? To match the decor. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Listen, I had lunch. I went back to the beach. Little did I know, before I went back, I checked the weather report. It was 96 degrees, but it felt like 102. Yes, right now in Miami, it's 102 degrees, bro. Once again, salute to everybody. I don't know how people work in this heat, bro. I'm just, pour I was just pouring sweat. But I think somebody said you got to get used to it. Once your body adjusts to it, absorbing the heat, you know what I mean? Then you should be okay. I'm talking about sunscreen and the whole nine I got on. I'm not used to this this heat, this dry heat. Oh my God. And then when the wind blows, it's hot air. You know what I mean? I went to the beach. There's people on the beach right now. You know what I mean? And it's Friday, people off. You know what I mean? I decided not to go down to South Beach because if I go down there, I'm gonna end up missing my flight in the morning. I'm not gonna do that, so. You know, I'm just gonna just uh, chill and then I'm gonna finish this, what I need to do here and just edit this content, you know what I mean? This will be my first vlog on, on, my, um, on my channel. It's all good TV, you know what I mean? But it is scorching outside, bro. Scorching, I got like two giant bottles of water, you know what I mean? The air, the air conditioning is, is pumping. I see people driving around you know, you know they got their AC on, but the people that's walking, it's like when you start walking, it's like, yo, you feel it. You feel that thing draining you, bro. You feel the heat just, just sucking, just sucking the like your energy out of you. So this heat is crazy out here, man. But once again, Bell Harbor. 96th Street is a little bit further up from South Beach, you know what I mean? And it's basically a lot of boats up here, people with houses. I've seen people with houses dock and they boat dock is right there, you know what I mean? And it's nothing in the world like having a, a nice house like that and everything's, come on, bro. You can hop on your boat, go through your backyard and hop on your boat, you know? Nothing in the world like that, man. So I salute everybody, man. I've seen some construction worker guys out there. I don't know how they do it, man. I don't know how they do it, bro. Some of them say, yo, we just, you know, make sure we hydrate, hydrate drink a lot of water, and we don't pay too much attention to it. Make sure we cover off, you know, we got um, shield hats and all that stuff. So, yeah. Miami Beach, I see a lot of new buildings going up, you know what I mean? And um, as far as the weather, this place is so nice during the summertime, but like June, I think June and July around that time, they start getting the, you know, 
the hurricanes and, and, and tropical storms, you know what I mean? Yes, yes indeed, man. So shout out to everybody, man. I'm, I'm, I'm up here nice and comfortable. You know what I mean? I got my matching, matching pillow, my matching decor back there. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody. Thank you for supporting It's All Good TV and the Terrence Mill Show and my fashion blog also. So like I said, Fashion Week is going to be coming up in September. And, you know, I'm a published uh, fashion photographer, you know what I mean? So I, so I make sure I go out there and get the best pictures possible. Get the best pictures possible of these beautiful models or, you know, male models or whoever's walking, you know what I mean? Because pictures are memorable, you know? And... I went to the beach, I looked around, there was some people laid out, but it was just it was just too hot. Then there's these guys is playing basketball. I was like, should I join them? I said, nah, man, I can't do it no more. I can't play ball like that in heat like this. Catch a heat stroke playing in hot weather like this, man. This is crazy, bro. But a lot of players do it. That's that's how they, you know, they hydrate. They drink a lot of water. You know, so a lot of uh, events coming up in the summertime and, you know, we're going to be moving around, going to be moving around. But I usually pick and choose now because I can do that. I can actually do that now, pick and choose. When I first started, I, I was going to every red carpet event. I was going to all the events covering, you know what I mean? But now it's like. I don't need to do that no more. I just pick and choose, you know. They'll send me my guest pass, and I'm 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 there, definitely. So once again, shout out to everybody, and once again, take care of yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself first, then you'll be able to take care of others that's just how it goes so once again shout out to everybody man keep grinding keep doing what you need to do things is gonna happen for you you know i'm glad uh papa chubby's doing good rest in peace to my childhood friend uh macho you know what i'm saying when i went to the beach man i said i said a prayer for him you know what I mean? And it wasn't his time yet, man. It was just so, it was devastating, bro. Them current, them waves, man. You know what I mean? A lot of, they, they tell you, Duke, if you go in there, you can't swim. Even an Olympic gold medalist won't, won't go, you know what I mean? They're going to have, they know how, they probably know how to get out of the way of a, 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 of a, of a rip current. But them rip currents is, is strong, man. Ain't no joke, man. I, I had that one time. I went out too far, and the thing grabbed me by my ankles, and I panicked. And then I started running back until I felt the ground again, bro. I was like, yo, that was it for me. So I talk a lot of shit in four feet water. You know what I mean? 12 feet, 6 feet, unless it's a swimming pool or whatever, ain't, ain't messing with it, bro. I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? The, even the beach, I just go waist deep and that's it. I'm done. I'm not going out there. Seriously. But one, one, uh, like I said, rest in peace, macho man. You know, you're a hero, man. S saving your daughters out there in Puerto Rico, man. Rest in peace, brother. You know what I mean? We love you and we miss you, macho, already. I know you up there with the Lord cooking, watching the game. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. We miss you, my dope. So, once again, I salute everybody in Florida, man. And y'all heard, heard it here first. F Florida International Airport needs an upgrade. So whoever's watching this, live in Florida, y'all, yeah, the airport needs an upgrade. Everybody's upgrading their airports, man. When you go out of state, you go to Japan and all that, yo, they, phew, 
the airports is off the chain. Off the chain, you know what I mean? So once again, shout out to all the beautiful women that I've seen walking at the beach. And, and, and when it get hot like that, you got to step in and out of stores, man, because it's so hot. You got to step in and out of stores just to cool off. I went into Starbucks. I sat there for like 40 minutes, man, and I ordered a, I ordered a um, iced tea drink. Then I went to Subways. I stayed in there for like 40 minutes. Then I went to CVS. Stayed in there for like 40 minutes. Dude, the air conditioner was on fleek mode. It was booming. Yes, indeed, it was booming, man. So once again, shout out to everybody, man. Take care of yourself. Don't forget to vote in this election. It depends on whether you want freedom or dic whether you want freedom or a dictator. You know what I'm saying? Whether you want freedom or a dictator, that's just how I go. Peace. That's right. Yeah. That's just how it is, bro. You know what I mean? Peace and love, baby.